Hello and welcome to this screencast on how to install the GNU C, C++, and Fortran compilers for Mac OS 10.11 El Capitan. In this video I'm going to show you how to install the compilers as well as Apple's Xcode software, which is required for the compiler installation. For the video I'm assuming that you have a Mac running Mac OS 10.11, also known as El Capitan, that you have an Apple App Store account, and that you have internet access. I'm also assuming that you have administrator access on your Mac that will allow you to install software. In case you're running an older version of Mac OS 10, the installation procedure is going to be similar to what you'll see in this video, but you can check out the link at the end of the video that gives detailed instructions on installations going back to Mac OS 10.6. We're going to begin by installing Apple's Xcode software, and the current version is Xcode 7. In order to install Xcode, we're going to go here up on the top left to the Apple logo, click on that, and then click App Store. Once the App Store window comes up, you can go here to the search and type in Xcode and press Enter. You should see Xcode listed as the first application on the top left of the search results. To install, you simply click on the Install button, and if you've not installed software recently in the App Store, you may be asked for your Apple ID and password at this point. But once you click that link, you'll see Xcode starts installing. I'm going to tell you that it may take a while to download Xcode. It's a pretty large um, application something like a few gigabytes, so it might take a while and we'll come back once Xcode has downloaded. All right, we're back and hopefully now you see in your App Store search results for Xcode that Xcode has been installed and is now listed as open. At this point we can move on to what is a critical second step and that is installing the Xcode command line tools. And to do this we can start by going up here to Spotlight, clicking on the Spotlight search and typing in Terminal. We're going to open the Mac Terminal emulator by pressing Enter and you should get a window that pops up that looks something like that. Now in order to install the command line tools we can type in Xcode dash select space dash dash install. And when you press enter, you'll be prompted to do the installation of the Xcode command line tools, and it's pretty much the standard Mac OS installation. So you'll get a window that pops up that looks like this. You, of course, want to select install, and you're asked to agree with the command line tools license agreement. You should click agree if you agree. And you'll now see the command line tools being installed. So once again, we'll come back once the installation is complete. Okay, so now we're back. The Xcode command line tools have been installed. And now we can move on to installing the GNU compilers themselves by going to the High Performance Computing for Mac OS X website. Easiest way to do that is to go back to the Spotlight search and open a web browser of your choice. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use Safari. I'll type in Safari and hit enter. And then we'll simply type in the website we want to go to here in the top search. So this is the High performance computing for Mac OS X. And if you type that into the search window, it's going to search on Google. And after you've typed in the text here, you can press enter. And it uh, looks like I'm being prompted to agree to the Google search stuff. I'll simply agree to that. and. Here now, the top link that's listed is the High Performance Computing for Mac OS X web page. You can simply click on the top link. On the website, 
you'll see here listed at the top computation tools c slash fortran that's what we're looking for and what you should do is go down to the list of things under binaries and select this case gcc-5.3 bin dot tar dot gz we're going to download the current stable version of the GNU compilers, which is 5.3. 6.0 has been released, but it's considered experimental, so we're going to pick GCC 5.3 and just click on the link, and that will download the compiler package. And that should take just a moment if you have a reasonably fast internet connection. Okay, once your download has completed, we can go back to the terminal window here. Hopefully you still have it open. I'm just going to click on the terminal. And now we want to navigate in the terminal to the downloads directory so that we can install the compilers. So we can start by changing directories using CD and going to downloads and then pressing enter. And we'll see what's here. The only thing I have in the downloads folder right now is the gcc-5.3-bin.tar file. So that's been unzipped already by Safari when it was downloaded. To install this, we're going to use the sudo or sudo command, which allows you to install software in the terminal as an administrator or root user. So I'm going to give you a warning that using sudo can be a bit dangerous. Uh, if you don't know what you're doing or if you don't type in exactly what is given here, you can do some serious damage to your computer. So that's your warning. In order to do the installation, you can simply type sudo, the sudo command, and then tar-xvf, and then the name of the file that was just downloaded, gcc-5.3-bin.tar. If you have downloaded your software with a different web browser that didn't automatically unzip it, it might still be .tar.gz at the end, in which case you should add the letter Z to this group of flags here after the tar command. Now, before you press enter, we should also say that we want to do the installation in a specific directory using the dash capital C. And in this case, we're going to say put it in the root directory, which is indicated by the slash here. So at that point, you should be okay to press enter and it will install the compiler. So we'll do that. Of course, you're going to be prompted for your password since we're using uh, the sudo command. So we'll type that in here. and hit enter, and you should see some text written here to the screen that's basically the compiler files that are being installed. At this point, everything should be installed. And if you're running Mac OS 10.11, you should be able to test the compiler installation at this point by typing gcc-v and hitting enter. That's going to list the version of the GNU C compiler that's installed. And if we hit enter here, Sure enough, we see that we're running GCC version 5.3.0, the one that we downloaded and installed. You can do the same thing with gfortran, type, typing gfortran-v, and if you hit enter again, you should see that it shows up as version 5.3.0. That should be it. You should be all set now to enjoy your GNU compilers on Mac OS 10.11. If the compilers don't appear to have installed properly, if you type in gcc-v and you get something other than what you expect, uh, it's possible that you need to modify your path environment variable. And in order to do that, the easiest thing is to take a look at the installation how-to that is given in the link at the end of this video. And if you look at the instructions for the installation for Mac OS 10.9 or 10.10, at the bottom of that, there's some directions on how to add a path to the system path 
environment variable. If you're still having trouble after that, I'd ask you to double check the video, make sure you follow the directions as given here, and otherwise you can add a comment below and um, hopefully get a response to your question. So that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. And if you have any comments, please leave those below. In case you're interested, uh, here's another link for a video on how to install OpenMPI on Mac OS X for running software on multiple cores on your Mac using MPI, the message passing interface. Thanks and good luck.